our brothers and sisters welcome to my channel if you're new please don't forget to subscribe today i'm so privileged sitting next to the founder of this very important organization i'll let him introduce yourself and let let him tell us more about what he does and where he's found my brother you are welcome to my youtube channel thank you very much brother I, as i said i'm called george abankao i happen to be the founder and the president of the uh that was an organization which was created in 1999 uh, in cameroon which people call it the territory the southern cameroon where i was born called the ambazonia now uh, the organization was created there is known as the association for the protection of women's and children's rights it was created in 1999 and so luckily because we couldn't move ahead to see the vision we were one of those persons who believed that we could change africa to try to change the internal policies to support the work of the government to see that justice and equity must be respected but unfortunately it wasn't done and so therefore because of that and we some of us too tall to stand for social justice and we were just out of the country and here come me in the united states and here in the united states our organization and the board of directors we have registered back the organization here in the united states and the headquarters is based at 651 a uh, uh, holiday drive uh, 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 15220 that is a zip code here in Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania. And so we are trying to see how we can uh, try to promote human rights through education advocacy and trying to do developmental programs at a local and community level in Africa and the United States. Thank you. So, my brother. What was the really main goals? Was it to protect the, the child or girls on this organization? What is it all about? Considering the fact that I, George Abankawa, the founder, I grew in a community where men, women and children had been abused. So we thought it necessary that there is need to see how we can promote the right of women, promote the right of uh, uh, women and of course men. Of course many men are also being abused mm. and that is why I will stand tall to see how we can promote that to make Africa better and of course the world a better place. So my brother, do you have a phone number in case there's someone else who wants to contact you? Uh, if you want to contact me, but of course we are also very careful about scams. Our phone number is plus one seven two four five nine zero two four one nine. Are you are you on Facebook or on, on Instagram? Of course we are in Facebook. We have a website. Our website is www.apwcroi.org. So my brother, listen. I just wanted to find out. I'm, I'm sure you talked about a little bit of Cameroon. Are you trying to extend this organization to another part of Africa? Because the challenges that are in Cameroon is the same in Zambia, is the same in Senegal. Are you trying to expand the organization in other African countries? Of course, yes. Here in the United States, our organization has changed as metamorphosed from Cameroon to Africa. We now just recently we carried an activity in Kenya. We are trying to carry another activity in Nigeria, and we are trying to see how, looking at our funders, to see how we can carry most of our development programs in the entire Africa and, of course, in the United States. Sir, you are doing a great job. Thank you so much for making sure that even if you left the continent, the vision is still stand the same. You can be in America, but you can still be touching lives in Africa. Of we are doing. Thank you so much. Is there anything else that people want to know about you or about your organization before we sign off? The first thing I want to know is that looking at our plan of action and envisage programs, we are already working now to see how we can carry, to see how we can uh, 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 distribute seats to many uh, uh, vulnerable co uh, communities in Kenya, some community in Kenya, in Tona community. We are trying to see how we can carry and see and organize programs with the internal displaced person in this war that has happened currently with the Southern Cameroon, which is called now the Ambazonia, there in Cameroon. The war is happening. We are trying to see how we want to promote and uh, uh, finance programs with them. And of course, in Nigeria, we try to see working with local communities to build and work and see how we can construct worlds, uh, uh, boreholes to uh, local communities that are vulnerable. With that, I think we can go ahead. So I've, I've, I've noticed here, it's not just about protecting the women or the, the children, but you're also empowering communities by um, drilling borehole, giving them water. Yes, sir. So this organization is very powerful, brothers and sisters. Make sure that if you don't have anything else, follow them, support them. Uh, 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 donate anything else like that, because you see they are touching lives. I mean, if you give water, you give life. So this organization, they go into the remote places in Africa by drilling water, giving them clean water. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. CEO, for everything that you are doing. We'll make sure that people support you or follow you up on the Instagram, on the website, so that this organization can extend into another part of the world. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.